Shalom, shalom, shalom. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to us by saying hallelujah. Yahweh, Yahweh is the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Elohim of Israel, the Holy One of Israel, the Savior and Redeemer of Israel. From Torah to Nach, Old Testament, and the Book of Life, ten toes down. And we'll love to all the chosen ones that's out there. One we'll love the chosen remnant and the chosen elect of Israel. <sighs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mikkel. Subscribe, like, comment, share, and turn post notifications and turn the bell so each time I drop in, upload a video, you notified. So turn the bell, ding, ding, ding. and if you like this video, then please give that thumbs up. Ching, ching, ching. And hope everyone is having. A day of being a worker for the kingdom of light, the kingdom of goodness. I'm also having a day of being a worker for the kingdom of light, the kingdom of goodness. For today's topic, subject, and title is going to be about are you a worker? Are you a worker, a puppet for the kingdom of darkness? Or are you a worker, a faithful servant for the kingdom of light? I'm going to start off with talking about if you are a worker for the kingdom of darkness, then you are on the wrong side you are on the bad side and in the end you will be destroyed you will be destroyed for eternity you're going to be destroyed and gone forever because be the kingdom of darkness you work for the demons you work for these fallen angels, their demons, and their children that are evil spirits that roam and dwell in the earth that cause havoc, oppression, and may bad things happen to people on this earth. But a king, a worker for the kingdom of darkness is every worker, a wizard, a witch doctor, a psychic, and those people those psychics, root workers, witch doctors, wizards, warlocks, they place evil spells and evil curses on people. Someone might come to them and they might, they might ask that person to, like if someone wants to break up someone because they is in love and want a person for themselves. Some people just see somebody they um they like that person and want that person to be with them. But sometimes that person is not always available. Sometimes that person is in a relationship with someone else. So some evil people that go to one of these evil workers of the darkness and they will go and for a spell. They will go and do a break up spell. So they will break up a couple. Also they get that person for themselves and, and that is total evilness and wrong it is wrong to do but a lot of times it, it, it's not gonna work out because that person don't really love you you got a spell on that person you bewitched that person that person don't really love you and 
you gotta keep it touched up. You gotta keep doing the spell over and over and over again. You gotta keep the spell touched up so the person don't leave you. Because eventually, those spells, they're way off. And once they're way off, that person is gonna realize, why am I with you? Once the spells start wearing off, that person is going to realize and start saying to themselves, why am I with you? I'm not in love with you. I don't really like you. So why in the hell am I with you? How did I get with you? And that person is going to, they're probably going to leave you. Once they realize, once they realize they're not in love with you, they're going to leave you. So you got to keep that spell touched up. You got to keep redoing that spell just to keep that person. And it's evil. You should break up and no one or because you want them for yourself. And you should not be placing no kind of love spells. You should place no love spells or any kind of spell on no one. But those wizards, warlocks, witch doctors, the psychic, root workers, they are evil. They are evil workers for demons and evil spirits. And they get their power from these demons and evil spirits. So they are, they work for the kingdom of darkness. And the puppets that work for the kingdom of darkness are celebrities. These celebrities gotta push a certain agendas. These puppets, like like these celebrities and politicians or or, or people that's being used by these demons and evil spirits. They're being used by the leaders for the kingdom of darkness. And they've been used because these celebrities, politicians, these people on TV, athletes, these top, these top anchors like Don Lemon, um, Gail King, all of them, they're puppets for the kingdom of darkness. And they're to push off certain agendas in the world. A lot of times, they are push out this gay agenda. That's why Gabrielle Union, uh, Gabrielle Union and her husband, Dwayne Wade, they're pushing Dwayne Wade's son is transgender and changed his sex. It was a boy, but he changed his sex to a girl. And they're pushing that. They're pushing that it's okay to be transgender. They're pushing that it's okay to change the gender of your sex. They're pushing that. So these celebrities, they push these evil agendas for the leaders of the kingdom of darkness and and at times also reality stars they're puppets for the kingdom of darkness because what time this girl has a reality show and i think it's called i am jazz jazz is her name she was born a boy but she changed her sex to a girl. And that reality show is to influence young people and people that it's okay to change your sex. It's okay to be transgender when you are not supposed to change your sex. You're supposed to accept and keep what the most high made you. You're supposed to you're supposed to keep it accept with y'all, with Yahweh 
made you. So these celebrities, reality stars, politicians, big time anchor people like Don Lemon, um, all big time people that's on TV, they push this gay agenda and transgender, like the uh, like the Senate. President Biden and um and the senators letting let I'm um, letting transgenders go in the same bathroom like a transgender man can go in the same bathroom as women and it's dangerous because so transgender men are bisexual and pedophiles a transgender man can can rape a woman. A transgender man that's bisexual can rape a woman and can rape a young child because some because some are pedophiles some are pedophiles and they can rape a young child so it's dangerous for women and and young girl children to be in the same bathroom as a transgender it's dangerous. It is not safe. If they push all kinds of genders, their job, all, people, all of us on TV and celebrities, their job is to keep you distracted. All this Trump stuff that's now going on with the um, Mayor Villaga investigation, all that mess, that's too distract you because Biden is, Biden is bringing in a digital currency. Soon it's going to be no more cash. It's a executive order. It started on December 10th. It's called Biden Bucks. And that's going to be Biden's digital currency. They're soon getting rid of cash. Everything's going to be digital. And they're doing this because they want to be in our business. The elites, the powers that be, they want to know how much we are spending. And they want to make sure that we can't save no money because no more cash. That means that we can't save and stack up no money. So we can't save a stack up, no money, and, and they've been nosed on our business, how much we spend and what we're buying and what we're spending things on. So we now have no more privacy about our finances and what we're buying and spending on. So these, these politicians, these politicians and presidents, they make laws and they curvy our laws that the demons and evil spirits want them to because they work for the kingdom of darkness. They work for the leaders of the kingdom of darkness. And now I'm going to all you a worker and a faithful servant for the kingdom of light. If you are, then it's me. I'm a worker and a faithful servant for the kingdom of light. A worker and a faithful servant for the kingdom of light. It's someone that spreads Yahweh's a true holy word. It's someone that preaches from, it's someone, it's someone that teaches from his Old Testament because the New Testament is fake and made up. The Old Testament, Torah, Tanakh, the Book of Life. That's the only true book. That book has all the truth that you need. There's so much truth and power in the Old Testament. So a worker for the kingdom of light is someone that's teaching and spreading of Yahweh's word from his Old Testament, his true and his only true book.
his only true book that you need. And it's someone that brings awareness to the fake, false, evil agendas that these works of darkness is trying to put out. Because these, these, works, these workers of darkness want to brainwash your children. They're trying to brainwash and lead your children down the wrong road. And a kingdom of the light, a work of the kingdom of light, and the kingdom of goodness, those workers is to spread awareness about all the tricks, deception, the schemes, plots, and the conspiracies that the demons, evil spirits, and the workers for the kingdom of darkness is putting out in the world. They bring awareness and share light on these issues. And they're trying to, and the kingdom, and the workers for the kingdom of lightness, like myself and many others, are trying to tell you to don't believe everything you see on television and don't fall for everything you hear. Don't be so gullible and so brainwashed and don't follow the world. Separate yourself. Don't be of the world. Yeah, it's true. We live in this world, but we don't have to be of this world. We live in it, but don't be of the world. Separate yourself and come out of the evilness. Come out of the evilness of this wicked, evil, demonic, satanic world. Come out and return back to Yah. Return back to the Most High. Return back to Yahweh, the only true and living Elohim, the only true and living God who created the heaven, the earth, the sea, and all that there is therein. Return back to Yah, and Yah will return back to you and protect you. Yah's going to save you of this captivity the same way he saved the same way he saved Daniel Shadrach Meshach and Abednego if you are a true and faithful servant to him and keep his law, statutes, commandments his precepts, judgments his rules and laws, his dietary laws. If you're following that to the best of your ability and you're serving him and being obedient because as Samuel told Saul, obedience is better than sacrifice. So, so if you have obedience and is obeying him and praying to him daily, you praying to him every day and reading his Old Testament, Holy Scriptures, Holy Word every day or, or just about every day on a daily basis. If you're doing that, then Yahweh is going to save you out of this captivity. If you are a true faithful servant for his kingdom, the kingdom of light, the kingdom of goodness, the kingdom of righteousness. If you are that, the Yahweh is going to save you out of this captivity in America. He's going to save you from this captivity of Babylon, modern Egypt. This captivity of America being Babylon and modern Egypt. He's going to save you for all of that. But you got to do your part.
you gotta show and prove to him that you are serving him and you're worthy of being saved from this kingdom of darkness. You're worthy of being saved and protected from the leaders and the workers of the kingdom of darkness. You must show and prove to him that you're worthy to be saved and protected while you are stuck in this captivity on earth in America. This Babylonian system, Babylon and modern, and modern Egypt, because on, on dollar bills, on the dollar bills is a pyramid. It's pyramids like Egypt, because this is modern Egypt. We are in, this is modern slavery. Modern slavery. We are, we are in modern slavery. And so, yeah, if you are a kingdom, a faithful servant, and a, and a worker for the kingdom of light, then y'all's going to, y'all, then, Y'all's going to protect you if you truly are a servant and if you truly are a faithful servant for him and the kingdom of lightness and spread out awareness and spread it and get out his word and spread in and, and give an awareness of all the fake illusions, the fake illustrations and the fake deceptions of this world if you're doing all that then Yah, Yahweh is going to protect you he's going to he's going to put a hedge of protecting you he's going to put a hedge of protection over you covering you and surrounding you. You're going to be filled with his protection. You're going to you're going to be filled with with the sure mercies of his protection and the sure mercies of his goodness over you and over your life. I want to end it here. I hope this message was encouraging, inspiring, inspirational, and motivational to you all to be a true and faithful servant of the kingdom of darkness. I mean, I mean to be a true to be a true and faithful servant of the kingdom of light, to defeat and beat and win over and be victorious over the leaders workers and the puppets for the kingdom of darkness. I can the cow subscribe, like, comment, share, and turn post notifications and turn the bell so each time I drop in each time I drop and upload a video, you notified. Ding, 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 ding. So turn the bell and if you like this video, then please give that thumbs up. Ching, 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 ching. And I'm Torah Tanakh, Old Testament, and the Book of Life, Ten Toes Down. One love to our chosen ones that's out there. One love to chosen remnant and chosen elect of Israel. And I appreciate all the love and support. And I'll see you all in my next video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Are you being a worker, a faithful worker for the kingdom of light? The kingdom of of goodness because I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day of me being a worker, a faithful worker, a faithful servant for the kingdom of light, the kingdom of goodness. Okay. But I chose the ones, but I chose the elect, chose the remnant of Israel. And again, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to most high God by saying, Hallelujah. 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 Praise the body Yahweh. 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 
Praise the body Yahweh. Praise the body Yahweh. I praise his name seven times. Hallelujah. 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 Praise Yah, praise Yah, praise Yah, praise Yah, praise Yah, praise Yah. Praise Yah. I praise his name seven times again. Hallelujah. 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 Yahweh is righteous all the time, day and night, winter and summer. Yahweh is holy. Yahweh is fair. Yahweh is just. Yahweh is perfect. Let Yahweh be magnified. Let the name of Yahweh be magnified. Praise the mighty Yahweh. Praise the mighty Yah. Hallelujah. And remember, Yahweh loves you, and so do I. And again, my chosen ones, my chosen remnant, chose the elect of Israel. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. And again, one love. I love you all. Shalom, shalom, shalom.